overhead. This beautiful example is the oldest Boeing aircraft of any kind to still fly today. Owned by Addison Pemberton, it boasts its own fascinating history. After crashing in 1928 while carrying a single passenger in a cargo load of diamonds, this aircraft sat untouched for 72 years. It was then transported to Spokane, Washington for a complete restoration, which took eight years, 18,000 hours to complete. But it flies overhead and wants you to take a note for that steel fuel fuselage and that fabric cover to the waves. Ladies and gentlemen, it'll be the Boeing Model 40C. Speaking of which, I just wanted to introduce you to three lovely ladies that are standing out in front of me. Down to my right, the upper 757, in front of me the 767, and off to my left, the 777. So if you have a chance to take a look at how huge these aircraft are, take a special note of that 767 out there in front of our expert model demonstrators are pointing it out so nicely, thank you. That aircraft takes over 3.1 million parts to put together, and the first one did their service in 1982. Since then, 767s have flown more than 16 million. in the kid zone. Beams is the Boeing Employees Aerodynamic Modeling Society. Members of all ages learn to design, build, and fly many different types of models, ranging from hand-launched gliders, rubber band-powered models, to much more advanced indoor model designs weighing as little as one gram or less. They're displaying some very cool models, and if you haven't had a chance to get out there and see it, go by and visit them, and they'll even have a few models that you can build and help uh, design yourself. Uh, 1925. That overhead is the Boeing Model 40C when the United States Postal Service issued the call to replace its demilitarized.